This question belongs to engineering mathematics subject and was asked in GATE CAC 2023. So the question states, Gita has a conjecture about integers which is of the form. So this is the conjecture. It is for all x, px implies negation of y, qxy. Where p is a statement of integers and q is a statement about a pair of integers. So for p we just have integers and q is a pair of x, y. Which of the following? One or more options. So it is a MSQ type question. Would imply Gita's conjecture. So we need to tell which of the options. Let us suppose either A or B or C or D will imply. Let us suppose this is S. So which one will imply S? We need to tell this. Either A, B, C or D. Or more than one can also be there. So let us see. Here we have been given that P is a statement about integers and Q is a statement about pair of integers. So which means X comma Y belongs to pair of integers which can range from minus infinite, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3 up till infinite. Now let us see what is the meaning of for all X. Here we have for all X PX. So what is the meaning of this? It means for every possible value of x over this range of integers, px is true, which means it is equivalent to p1 is true. As it is true for all possible values, thus it is true for p1, true for p2, true for p3 and so on. Also in the negative side and the positive side. And what is the meaning of if someone says there exists an x such that px is true? Then it means over the possible range it is either at least true for 1 which means either true for p1 or p2 or p3 or can be true for more than 1 like it can be true for p1 and p3 but not p2. But we have used an or which implies that if it is true for any one of them then this statement will become true. Now see what S implies. So S says for all x px implies there exists an y such that qxy is true. Okay. So can we break down x into these ranges? Yes, we can break down. Which means p1 is true implies here x is 1. So here x should be 1. Which means q let us take y as generic. We can take generate or we can also split above. This is true. As this is there exist. Which means or will come. Q either 1, 2 is true. Or Q 1, 3 is true. And so on. So we have done for this there exist. And for this or for all we need to have and. So thus we will have and with another P2. So we will have P2 implies q21 or q22 or q23 and so on and we will have another and for all the possible ranges we will have so it will keep on going now what we need to tell we need to tell which of the following Im options implies our s okay so if, if we need to tell like which of the options among we need to tell whether this is a tautology or not. This implication is true, which means this is a tautology. This is a tautology. Tautology means true for all values. True for all values. Okay. So, now see. When a tautology is false, true for all values. So, A implies, if we have x implies y, then it can be written as negation of x plus y or we can write negation of x or y. Now, when is this true or we can say when is this false? So, this is false only in the case when x is true and y is false. Okay. So, let me write it over here. So, when is x implies y false? x implies y is false when x is true and y is false. 
because negation of true will become false and or with false will remain as false okay now what we need to do so here what we will do is that we will try to make this statement s as false so we will try to make this y part as false which means statement s as false let me write it over make s as false okay which means of this statement any one of them will be false okay thus this entire s will be see this s is comprised of all these things let us write it as p1 this is p2 so s1 is p1 and p2 and p3 and p4 so if we want to make s as false which means we need to make any one of the part as false okay now see so the conditions are like this pa is true for at least one a which means for c here we have and between the statements okay so pa is true for at least one a and qab is false for all y corresponding to a from 1 where a and b comes from the domain okay now let us see all the options one by one see we have option a so what option a states option a states that there exists an x px and for all y qxy so we need to tell whether this implies s is a tautology or not now how can we break this up so we know that there exist means either first part is true or second part is true or third part is true this is the meaning of there exist this one so we can break this up at we can write the values for x so x can have one value and negation of y with q 1, y either this will be true or p2 and negation of y with q 2, y will be true or and this will keep on going okay which means any one of them will be true now we can make this statement as true how can we make this as true we can make this as true by making p1 as true we can make this as true and for all y q 1, y as false to satisfy the above conditions and for other pc is true and for all y qcy is true so others will be let for all these others first part will be true and for all y qcy will be true where c is not equal to 1 so the first part this will be false and this will be true and for the rest all of this will be true so in this way above conditions will be satisfied and we are able to make the whole statement as true thus option a is wrong as we are able to make the whole statement as true thus it is wrong so let me write over the conditions that we want to make sure so conditions are for at least 1a at least 1a pa must be true pa must be true this is the first condition what is the second condition qab is false for all y okay now a and b will come from the domain so why we need to make these statements like this we need to make them like this because we want to make s as false so to make s as false at least one of them must be true and qab must be false for all of them thus if qab is false for all of them then this will be false and at least one of them will be true thus an entire thing will be false and all this s will be false so this is the condition for making s as false so if we are able to make s as false and the first part is true then the entire thing won't imply and here what we have done we are able to make the whole part as true and s has been made false with these conditions thus this x implies y will be false thus statement a is false now let us see option b 
so what is option d option d states let me write it over here so option d states for all x for all y q x y is true okay now see we how can we write this we can write this as uh, we can expand x so what all values it will take for all y q 1 comma y and as it is for all so it will have and between the statements and for all y q 2 comma y and for all y q 3 comma y and it will keep on going so to make this statement as true we need to make all of them as true okay now we can't make all of them as true because according to above condition 2 according to the second condition QAB must be false for all B QAB must be false for all B with at least one A which makes the whole statement as false but QAB is not can't be made false to make this as true thus we can't have the first part as true and second part as false simultaneously thus option B is correct Now let us see option C. So option C goes on like this. We have there exist y for all x, px implies q x comma y. Now how can we expand this? So we will have there exist y forward and we can expand x. So it can have values p1 implies q1 comma y okay we can have this or we can have and let me write it in brackets and we can have we are expanding x so x can take second value p2 implies q2 comma y we are not expanding y we are only expanding x and x value will keep on going we are having and because of this for all and we are having and we haven't expanded this one Okay, and we are having this there exist over here. Now let us see. Again, we can't make this entire statement true. Why? Because we can set P1 as true. We can make this one as true and this one as false. So if this is true and this is false, what is this statement? P implies Q. It's negation of true plus false, which means it's false plus false. So it will become false. So this entire statement will become false. And we have and over here, this entire statement will become false. So we can't make it true. Because we want to make at least one A is true and second one is false. So if we make it as true, then the statements become false. So thus we can't have this as true and this as false. Thus both can't happen simultaneously. Thus option C is also correct. Now let us see option D. So option D states there exist x, px and there exist y, qxy. Okay, so how can we expand this? Let us expand the same similarly x, p1 and there exist y, qx comma y or p2 and there exist y, q2 comma y and so on. Oh. So this or comes because of this there exist and this and is copied directly and there exist is copied directly. Okay. So can we make this statement true? So for making this statement true we need to make any one of the part true. So what we can do? We can make P1 as true. Thus 1P is true and this condition is satisfied. 1P is true and we can make there exist y q1 comma y we will have q1 comma y as false. We can make this as false which satisfies the given condition and then we can make p2 as true and this as true and in this way whole statement will come true. So here we will have false but this will be true. Okay. Thus this statement will become true. So we will have this as true. So first part is true and second part is false so true implies false is false thus option d is also wrong so how we have done this 
let me explain you once more so answer is option b and c so we have this statement we need to tell which among a b c or d implies s so when something will not imply something will not imply when first part is true and second part is false how can the second part be false second part be false can be false when we have all these conditions so we need to make sure that all these conditions are satisfied and if sim simultaneously by satisfying all these conditions we are able to make the first part as true if first part can be true and all these conditions are satisfied which means second part is false then we can say that it doesn't imply but if we can't have all these conditions are satisfied and first part as true can't happen then this means this p a b c or d or that part implies s can't have true and false values thus it will be a tautology and this happened in case of options b and c so answer is option b and c